Hi, my name is Anne and I am one of the two church wardens here in the parish of Minehead in the Diocese of Bath and Wells. My chosen piece today are some verses from Psalm 139, verses that tell me I am never alone. O oh Lord, you have searched me and you know me. You know me when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O oh Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before. You lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even though your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me and the light around me become night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day. The darkness is as light to you. We live in a huge, wonderful, and sometimes frightening world, and it's filled with so many people. So many people, yet there are times when we feel lonely, isolated, and afraid. And of course, this year has been a prime example of being alone and unable to control our world. There is incredible truth and warmth in Psalm 139 because God knows us. He knows each and every one of us. He knows us better and more honestly than we know ourselves. During the last 20 years of my working life, I spent many hours alone, often at night. I would drive regularly across our county I would cross the Quantocks, the Mendips, Exmoor, and across the levels. I would feel the presence of God within, and the problems which I would discuss with God during those silent hours would often be explained to me. I would say they would be solved. God's answer is not always the one we can use in 2020. But I would often feel guided, and clouds would be blown away. When things go wrong in my world, I know that God continues to hold me in his right hand. The right hand, mind you, the right hand being better and stronger. And the verses in this psalm may also suggest to us that whenever we try to run from God, he will find us. I prefer to turn it around and say that whatever I do, and when I get into a mess, the Lord will stay with me. He'll pick me up. I only have to ask him. I thank the Lord that he is there for me and for allowing me to cry to him in times of need. It is amazing to me that the Lord takes time to listen to me and to care about what I say and what I do. Lord, there are things happening right now that I don't understand. And some of these things make me feel weak, helpless and afraid. But in the midst of this, I know that you are the Lord. I know 
that you have the strength in your hand and I trust you. I feel we must remember that we are never alone. And I would like to finish with a litany. It's a Christian litany of humility. O Lord, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me. From the desire of being loved, from the desire of being extolled, from the desire of being honoured, from the desire of being praised, from the desire of being the preferred one, from the desire of being consulted, from the desire of being approved from the fear of being humiliated, deliver me, Lord Jesus. From the fear of being despised, from the fear of being rebuked, from the fear of reaching anger and wanting to hit back, and from the fear of being forgotten, of being ridiculed, being wronged, from the fear of being suspected, and that others may be loved more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it, that others may be esteemed more than I, grant me the grace to desire it that in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease. Grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be chosen and I to be set aside. Grant me the grace to desire. That others may be praised and I am noticed. Grant me the grace to desire it that others may be preferred to me in everything. Grant me the grace to desire it. That others may become holier, that I, provided that I may become as holy as I should, grant me the grace to desire it. Amen.